Before opening PowerDirector 7, connect your camcorder to your computer via a firewire cable and turn the camcorder on. In this video, we're going to show you how to batch capture from your camcorder. So to start, click on Capture. The capture screen opens and as you can see it's detecting devices. Now select Profile. In Profile Setup, choose the format that you wish to save as. MPEG-1, MPEG-2 or AVI. Depending on your system, you will also have the option of MPEG-4. I will choose AVI. Click OK. To perform an automatic batch capture, click on the button. And the quick scan dialog box opens. Because we're doing an automatic batch capture, make sure that you rewind the DB tape to the start. The wheel allows you to fine tune your starting point. See how the time changes? Then click Start and you see the quick scan is now importing all your scenes. I'll say Stop now. It's refreshing the thumbnails. To preview the scenes that have been captured, click on Fast Forward. As you can see, it's going through and it's going through each scene so that you can preview. Click Stop. To delete a clip, you can click, remove the tick, and remove the tick. To auto merge, click on the auto merge button. You can merge sequential clips or you can merge at intervals. We will we'll cho choose merge sequential clips. Click OK. As you can see, we now have five clips there, of which two will not be captured because we've unticked them. Then click Start. When batch capturing has finished, the captured clips will be shown in the captured clips area. Then click Finished. Click on Edit and your captured clips have now been imported into PowerDirector 7. If you are sure which scenes you want to capture and have a good idea of where they are located on the tape, then use Manual Batch Capture. Locate the first marking position and then click Add. The start of batch 1 shows in the preview window. Locate the markout position Pause. Click Mark Out. Batch Capture 1 now shows in the preview window. Locate the start of batch 2. Pause. And click Add. Batch 2 start position now shows in the preview window. Locate the markout position. Pause. Click mark out. Then continue for all remaining clips. When you have finished capturing, click start to start the rendering process.